Novak Djokovic versus Tommy Paul is the second semi-final for the Australian Open for the men for 2023. And both guys have a different roads to get to the semi-final. Paul started the tournament off unseated and will take on the qualifier Struff in the first round. And after a close second set, Paul got through in straights 6-1, 7-6, 6-2. In the second round, he'd take on the 30th seed Davidovic Fakina. And after dropping two of the first three sets, Paul would have to fight back to eventually prevail in five, 6-2, 2-6, 6-7, 6-3, 6-4. In the third round, he'd take on countryman Brooksby who had just beaten number two seed Kasper Ruud in the previous round. And this was Paul's easiest match to date, getting through in straights, 6-1, 6-4, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on Batista Agu, the 24th seed, who'd come off beating Andy Murray in the previous round. And after dropping the second set, Paul would come back to win in four, 6-2, 4-6, 6-2, 7-5, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Paul would take on fellow American unseeded player, Ben Shelton, who had a very impressive run to get to this stage. But Paul's experience shone through, winning through in four sets, 7-6, 6-3, 5-7, 6-4, four, to advance to his first Grand Slam semi-final. Djokovic started the tournament off as the number four seed and would take on Bayana in the first round. And this posed no problem, even though Djokovic was injured, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4, 6-6 love. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier Quaco, and after dropping the second set, Djokovic felt in trouble, but he steamrolled his opponent in the fourth, getting through in four, 6-1, six, 6-7, six, six, two, six love. In the third round, he'd take on the 27th seed Dimitrov, and these two had played many times before, and Djokovic had Dimitrov's number again, getting through in straights, 7-6, six, 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 In the fourth round, he'd take on the 22nd seed Demonor, the hometown favorite, and this was by far Djokovic's best performance of the tournament, demolishing Demonor in two hours, 6-2, six, 6-1, two, six, six, two, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would play number five seed Rublev, a man that had actually beaten him on clay in Serbia last year. But Djokovic came out of the blocks hot and dominated Rublev in straight sets, 6-1, 6-2, 6-4, to get to another semi-final in Australia. These two guys have actually never played before, which is kind of crazy because Paul's been around for a while now, and of course Djokovic has been around for the last couple of decades, but they've never crossed paths, and this is the first time they'll ever be meeting. If Paul's gonna win this one, he's gonna have to play a little bit more aggressive than he did in his quarterfinal. In his quarterfinal, he was very, very solid, very consistent, but his opponent, Shelton, was making a lot of errors. Djokovic won't be hitting that many errors, so Paul's gonna be aggressive, come to the net, and really test out Djokovic's hamstring. If Djokovic is gonna win, he just has to do what he's been doing the last two matches. Paul is very similar to both Rublev and Dimonor, so if he keeps doing what he's been doing, he should be able to fly through this match like he has been the last two. This is a very strange match because, of course, Djokovic, in his toughest test against Rublev, absolutely dominated. And Paul has had some really good wins, but unfortunately, he falls in the same category as his last two opponents, Djokovic. So I think Djokovic's going to win this in straight sets. Maybe Paul can make it interesting. Maybe he can get to a tie break, but I think I've got Norway in straight sets to make another final in Australia. But you let me know down in the comments below. What do you think?